Hello, in this short video I'm going to show you how WorkSoft has HP ALM integration support. This is part three in this video series. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to run my HP ALM test sets from Jenkins via Execution Manager. Lights out testing and continuous testing have existed for years, and people talk about scheduling your tests or running them on weekends. And Execution Manager supported this through allowing you to have distributed agents geographically and have physical and virtual machines to run these tests on. You can run them in parallel. We do load balancing, have dependency checking based on one test passing, one failing, which one runs next. The nice thing is the new Execution Manager has remote desktop login and allows for different users to log into the test and also solves the problem of screen locking and getting positive screenshots. With the new Execution Manager, we support certified processes along with running HP ALM Quality Center test sets. In this video, I'm going to show you actually the interoperability of running this from Jenkins. Now the nice thing is we can actually ask Execution Manager to run multiple test sets in Quality Center or HP ALM via a Jenkins call. The way we do this is we have a RESTful interface that the continuous integration and continuous deployment servers point to. They make a request execution manager. Execution manager in turn understands the labs where the agents are running, handles logging in, running of the tests, getting screenshots, and then shutting them down. In this case we can actually do a lot of parallel testing um, but trigger them from a Jenkins or Team City from your CD platform. Here I have HP ALM. I have two um, test labs set. Um, these test sets for ServiceNow and for SAP run different certified processes. These processes were st are stored in the test plan and were um, uploaded earlier. There's a video on how to do this if you're interested. For my Jenkins side, I actually have a job that points to um, Execution Manager. So it's a pretty simple job. It has a test script or a script that points to um, Execution Manager to actually do the meat of the work. If I come over here and I say build, what will happen is a REST call will be sent from Jenkins over to Execution Manager. Execution Manager in turn will run the processes. I'll come to Execution Manager. So I have different processes defined. If I come to my home page, I'll see what's running. In this case, I have my HP ALM parallel test. So the SAP demo and the ServiceNow test sets that I saw defined in HP ALM are being run. Notice they both have status of executing. This means that they're running in parallel over on the Chicago 10.2 machine. If I want to spy on this, I can actually come over to this part of the product and actually look. I can see WorkSoft 1 is logged in and it's running the ServiceNow test. If I flip context to WorkSoft 2, I can see we're starting to run this test. I can see the HP ALM connectivity tools have launched and now Certify is launching and testing SAP. So in this example, I'm keeping my tests at my system of record of HP ALM. My test sets um, are associated with requirements for reporting purposes. What's most important is I'm actually running these tests from the WorkSoft Execution Manager, but I'm running them in parallel. So I had two test sets, so there's three login sessions available max RDP sessions of three on this machine. So we can take advantage of logging into the machine multiple times and then running these tests. We run the tests and then log out. Now, the nice thing is you can now easily trigger HP ALM tests from Execution Manager and let Execution Manager manage the resources like the environments and the user IDs. The advantage to this in many companies is that their test runs. If we look at our test runs here, we see they actually just ran these two processes, but this is my central system of record. So my test running here is stored in Quality Center. So even though people are moving to more continuous integration and continuous delivery, you know, 
their agile and DevOps processes, they want to maintain their systems of record the way they're used to. They want their test results to show up in Quality Center. This makes it easy for them to actually create a defect from here, or if auditors are used to working from these results, they can still get their audits to prove the tests have run. The difference is the tests are just run on an event basis, basically a build happening and Jenkins kicking them off versus being manually run or scheduled. Thank you for your time. For more information, you can look at the WorkSoft website or community at WorkSoft.com to understand more about how Certify and ALM and Execution Manager work together.